we can take a breather. Pull out. Okay. Focus. <gasps> ah, a treasure chest. Care to open it? Oh, oh. Thank you. <clears throat> That's our second will seed. Take this! Take this! We're here! Also, yes, hmm. Huh. 
I'll reveal your true form. This doesn't have a weakness, but physical attacks will be nullified. Don't attack recklessly. Let's finish this. You can do better. Let's do this. See. Oh, that's 
What would you like to do? your power, Panther! That's the third will seed. I never would have guessed Dr. Maruki's desires would take this form.
I should write something. Been complete. What brings you back here after all these years? That's a comprehensive study on the research you tried to shut down all these years ago. I know how to read. What I meant was, why are you bringing this to me now? Oh, this is just a quick visit out of spite. I wanted to show you in person that I found the concrete evidence you had discontinued my research over. So it appears. I'll admit you've impressed me on that point, at least. But such praise does nothing now. All this discussion is in the past. Why can't you just let it stay there and move on? Ah, uh, no can do, Professor. Cognitive science has made too great an impact on this world to be abandoned like that. W what are you saying? The psychotic breakdown incidents. The sudden changes of heart in adults that the Phantom Thieves claim to make. I'm nearly willing to call these events concrete evidence of cognitive science in action. How about you? Uh. And the one person pulling the strings in the background of this, Congressman Masayo Shishido. He seems to be confessing to all sorts of crimes now that the Phantom Thieves have changed his heart. Years ago, Shido took notice of my research, stole it away from me, and made others develop it for his own gain. Not only that, he used cognitive science somehow to induce the politically motivated psychotic breakdowns. Now, you're heavily involved in that series of events, aren't you? What are... what are you planning on doing with me? Oh, nothing at all. As I said before, I only came here out of spite. That paper, my work, is going to change the world change the world and where's the money for that where's the power to do it you're no shido what can someone like you actually do that paper there is just the first step i've learned how to change the cognition of not just an individual but all of humanity and i will do it no matter how long it takes yeah enough of this dribble get out of my office and don't show your face here again hear me What is this? Hmm? What's your problem now? Huh? You... You don't see this? The sky just... The time has come. This voice... <sighs> the time is finally at hand. I am the other you, dwelling in the realm of mankind's hearts. The other... me? Wait, the realm of mankind's hearts? Are you telling me that this realm is... You may have no knowledge of it, but I have been at your side for much longer than our current meeting. Finally, your reality and the sea of hearts from which I came have truly become one in this moment. Now, 
The time for your unjustly persecuted ideology is at hand. I am thou. Thou art I. That's it. I finally get it. To think it'd be so... <laughs> Hey, what are you mumbling about? I told you to get out! Yes. I'll be on my way, finally. Now I can finally... Shido! To think he was the one who stymied Dr. Maruki's research. You know, I've been wondering ever since we saw the earlier video, do you think there was some kind of connection between my mom's cognitive science research and Dr. Maruki's? After he crushed Maruki's chance at researching the field, he had his own pawns do it for him instead. Although I doubt Shido's researchers knew anything about the subject in the way Maruki did. That sounds exactly like the kind of plan that man would scheme up. That bastard! Wait, now's not the time to get pissed about that. There's another thing about that video nobody's mentioned yet. That being that appeared near the end was most likely Maruki's persona. The sky did turn red like that. I wonder if that was the day we fought against the God of Control. Lady Lavenza did tell us that reality and mementos were merged together during that time. As you've all seen for yourselves, a full awakening to a persona can't happen unless you're within the metaverse. That would mean Maruki really did awaken to his persona in that video. And at the same time, he attained the ability to meddle with mementos, the cognition of the masses. So it is just as Lavenza had told us. And the sheer number of coincidences necessary for this to happen is just... At any rate, now we have a better grasp of past events. I'm fairly certain that was a memory Maruki wouldn't want us to have seen either. Yeah! We don't have the time for these questions anyhow. Let's go. Oh, 
Here goes. On to the next. Persona! Biaki! That's not right. It's time. Michael! There! Let's go. There. Persona! Come! This is a part of me! Go! And that is my retort! This appears to be quite the paradise. I assume Maruki's trying to convey that the world will turn into something like this if we allow him to abuse his research. A paradise. Wait, but this is a dead end, right? And we still haven't found the treasure. Look again. The shimmery thing? No doubt about it. That's our treasure. That also means we've secured our route. All right. All we got left is send in the calling card. Oh, wait. How are we supposed to do that this time? That's right. Dr. Maruki's been here in the palace this entire time, hasn't he? I'm sure Maruki's well aware that the Phantom Thieves send out their calling cards the day before their heists. Considering his actions up until now, I highly suspect he'll attempt to directly intervene in some way that day. My money's on him trying it with Joker. Good point. In that case, I'll leave the calling card in your hands, Joker. We could just set up an ambush and destroy him once he steps in our trap, too. No way are we doing that! Our goal in coming here is to return reality to its original state, not to beat up Dr. Maruki. It was merely a joke. After all, you're all well aware that Maruki's influence on reality goes well beyond this palace. If we make the wrong move in here, we could get eliminated outside the palace, since we lack our personas there. It'd be a safer strategy to change Maruki's heart, just as you all wish. We're finally changing his heart. If we steal Dr. Maruki's treasure, everything will go back to the way it was, right? I don't know for sure, but most likely. Yeah, of course. We've all come so far. We can't just give up now. We gotta stick to our own reality. About the time limit. 
Dr. Maruki told you it was February 3rd, correct? Yeah. He isn't like anything we've faced before. We should get as strong as we can before that fight. What would you like to do? 